Do you have a super epic weapon that you want enhanced? Oh yeah, look at all the cool enhancing. But you cannot get any of them. But you do not have any XP slash skill point slash enhancing skill point or what we should call them for. Yeah, food is very important. Okay, I will show you how I get very fast XP. Here is some of the tools I prefer to use. And here is a lot of skeletons. When you hit the skeleton one time, it will die. I will explain later why. Okay, there is one or there was 1100 skeletons here. And every time I hit one, it drops two or four items, so just like more and more. Okay, I prefer to hit the skeleton with meat. You all know, uh, skeletons hate meat, of course. But you can also use bread or other good stuff. Beef is also good, of course. I say it's very important you do not use a weapon. That's bad. The weapon will break very fast, so don't do that. Remember to eat. Eat or die. Okay, the video you are looking at right now, I have made that for a long time ago, but I really want to make a video to show how I make the trap, and I try and try and try it, but it, I was not happy with the video I have made. But then I found a solution, how to show, how to explain. Here we have it. <laughs> yeah, that's me, yo. Okay, when you drop 23 blocks down, you do not die, but you will end up with half a, half a heart. Look at my heart. <coughs> Give me five, <coughs> and you will die. Oh, that's me that I. Damn you bastard. So when the monster drop 23 blocks down, you can easy kill it. Does you can also make other structure, something like this. Here we have a monster spawner and a baby scary monster. <coughs> When it drops down in the water, the water will push it over to the monster water elevator. And it's very important we move the monsters away from the spawner fast, <laughs> so the spawner can spawn more monsters. Here we get it up here, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> What happens now? Oh yeah, you got XP on the brain, or what? <laughs> it looks good. I like that. Okay, the monster will drop 24 blocks down. So, yeah, then it's easy to kill. Go hit it. And it's the structure we have here is very good for you are close to the spawner, so the spawner will spawn more maps. And you are not uh, too long away from the spawner, for then the spawner will not spawn any monster. So that's a good solution, this one. Try it out. Look up. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> We go to the Tisa to record this, so we should not have any rain, but anyway... Okay, here is uh, a cut from one of the video I tried to make, where I show you where I found a spawner and how I take the control of the spawner and make the trap.
and uh, it's important to survive. <laughs> Do not die. And add a lot of light to secure the room. Oh, please. It's, yeah, I, I add too much light maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Better to be safe in sorry or something like that. Okay, it's important to add the lights inside the room, but also outside the room where the spawner is. For I believe it's four block it can spawn, a rain from the spawner. So you can also spawn outside the room. Here I add lights and then I go kill the skillet. If I begin to fight with the mobs, then uh, the bar get more and more. So I add the lights first and then clean up. Yeah. In World of Warcraft, my child is 85. Level 85. That's why I go for 85 here. And Okay, I have also tried to get to level 100 in uh, under 8 minutes or 7 minutes, but it was just too laggy. One frame per second or less, that was too laggy. I'm not sure that. If you have any question, uh, just ask and I will answer if I can answer. And uh, it will be very nice to know if you like the video or not. Uh, please till Please tell me what you like and what you don't like, you know, so I can be better to next time.